Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, right there, get a hold of me, Marcelo, at headlesscreator.com. Today, my guest presenter is back. His name is Seva Kikizian. We're going to ch uh, chat with him in just a minute. He's a full stack developer at Service Titan. And today, he's covering uh, how to manage environments using the Contentful CLI. He already did part one where he talked spoke about spaces. But without further ado, let's get uh, Sebek in. Sebek, welcome. Hey, Marcel. Glad to have you here again. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad to be here too. Now, uh, many people don't know this, but you are actually in Armenia, right? Yeah. And uh, what city specifically? Uh, in Yerevan. It's the capital city. Capital city. And uh, what time is it over there now? Like what's the... Uh, it's 6 30 p.m almost dinner time yeah we're just starting our day you're finishing your day uh yeah. so today you're going to be talking about or you're going to show us how to use the the cli specifically for managing environments using the cli uh, before we get into that i'd love for people to know a little bit more about you and they can watch all the other videos that you've done with me but one thing we never spoke about is you have this really cool hobby where you build models that are engines, right? Like motor, car motors, car engines. Yeah, I like everything connected to cars. So you're a big car fanatic. But specifically yeah. that uh, you showed me one time this cool car uh, engine, it was a V8? Yeah, it was V8. It was uh, my wife's present. So she uh, gave me the model like disassembled and I had to assemble it myself. Now, what kind of material was it? Was it plastic or? Yeah, it was plastic. But plastic. It had, yeah, it had all the parts. So. And moving plastic. parts, right? Did the pistons yeah. move too? Yep. Everything they did. Was there. Yeah. So how many parts did it come with? Oh, it's hard to tell, but I think it's around 200 or something. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And how long did it take you to build it? A uh, couple of hours. Yeah. Did, did you also paint it or you just build, um, or did uh, it come already colored correctly? Uh, it came like in two colors. The main part was gray and the covering right. part on top of it was red. Yeah, I could paint it, but uh, it was actually transparent from side. So you can see everything that's the going inside. on the inside. Yeah. yeah. Now it wasn't powered, right? In other words, you could, didn't have a battery, but you can run the engine. It, it had a battery. Oh, it cool. So the, and the pistons would move up. Oh, that must have been. Yeah. See, that part you never showed me. You just showed me the finished model. You got to show me that next. Yeah, sure. I got to see how it works. Okay, cool. All right, Sebag, we'll go ahead and get started. I know that had nothing to do with Contentful and the CLI, but you know what? We all have lives outside of our work, right? And we got to talk about that and learn a little bit. So, um, okay, for those of you watching live, you know how this works. Any questions you have for Sebak, put them in there. I'll ask Sebak. Sebak, I'll let you get started and uh, I'll jump in with any questions. Okay. Uh, so let's get started with recapping of what I will learn during part one. So during part one, we have learned how to install the Contentful CLI and how to authenticate with it. Uh, and also we learned how to manage Contentful spaces with CLI. So we created and deleted spaces. Uh, we listed them and so what spaces we have, and also we use the use command for it. Uh, and for today, we are going to uh, learn how to manage environments with Contentful CLI. Uh, so let's jump uh, into the Contentful directly. Uh, so for today's lesson, we are going to assume that we already have a CLI installed and authenticated, uh, and we have a space there. So let's just quickly check that. List. So as you can see, we have one space called main. Uh, and today we are going to learn how to manage environments. So for environments part, uh, let's just quickly see the command. It's and while you're doing that, uh, real quick, for those that don't know, I, obviously if you have more spaces, we show all of them. And the reason that shows blue is because that's the space that's been selected, right? That you're going to be managing by default. Uh, yes, uh, it was selected using the command use. And so 
all further commands that we don't specify the space name or space ID will go to that space. Yeah, and they can watch part one of exactly how to do that. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. So, uh, as usual, we have dash help command to see what options we have. Click oh, here. So, so, as we can see, the environment has only four commands. It's create, delete, list, and use. And we'll go through all of them. Uh, and also we are going to talk about environment aliases, but just a little bit later about that. Okay, for now, uh, let's imagine that we have a uh, live application, or website and mobile app that are powered by our Contentful. Uh, so it, uh, the application shows data from our Contentful. Uh, and we want to do some development, maybe change some entries or develop new content models. Uh, and if we do that on the live environment, uh, it potentially it can break something on live and we don't do we don't want that. Uh, for that, we can create a new environment and do our development and testing on, on the new environment. Uh, so let's see how we can create new environment. Okay, dash help. So it shows us all available options, uh, but we actually need only a couple of them right now. So we'll do uh, environment name. Let's call it development and do environment ID. Uh, and I'm using the short versions because long versions are very long and not uh, convenient to type, but they work just as well. So we'll set the ID to dev. Uh, and now we can create a new environment like this, but this will be just a simple, plain, empty environment. If we want to do some development work on, on top of something that we have on live, we can just clone the live environment uh, and work on that. So we do source and we provide the environment ID, which is uh, so our environment is created. So let's quickly check, check that list and this list command works just as like. Uh, in other uh, commands, like in space, for example. So here, yeah, as you can see, we have two environments, development that we have just created, uh, and we have a master environment that is created by default when you create the space. <coughs> uh, so uh, for example, like let's say we have done all of our development work, we have tested, so everything is ready to go to live. There are a couple of ways for that. Uh, one thing is if it's just a small change, you can just like do it on the master too, make the same change and just delete this development environment. Uh, so let's quickly see how we can delete this environment. That before, we, environment. before we do that, can we show in Contentful itself the environment so they could see how it actually created it on the Contentful side? Yeah, the sure. admin side. Here, as you can see, we have the master environment and we have the dev environment. Very cool. So, environment, delete, uh, help. So we need to provide the environment ID. And always be cautious when you are deleting anything because after you delete it, uh, there is no way to recover it. So it's gone forever. So always be careful when deleting something. <clears throat> okay, uh, this was helpful if you had made some small changes. Now let's imagine we have made some huge changes. We have created uh, new content models. We have created a bunch of new contents and we don't want to do that again in master. 
what can we do in that case? So uh, let's recreate our environment. Uh, but this time let's name it like with versions. Release 1.2, for example. Release 1.2. 